Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chikel, a Nigerian lifestyle vlogger that resides in Lagos. And if you're new here, just start catching this kiss as I'm throwing it to you. Did you catch anyone? <laughs> Anyways, thank you for stopping by if you're uh, one of our loyal subscribers. Yay! We are almost at 600 subscribers. Yay! I know it's a big deal. Yes, I know. It's a big deal for me. It's a big deal for us. And we are moving forward okay yes thank you so much for stopping by and please you know what to do give this video a huge thumbs up and also you can share if you like i don't really mind but if you like maybe you like me or you like my face or you like my channel please help me share my videos okay but most importantly please help me subscribe did i just say importantly Import important i don't know what i said but most importantly please help me subscribe to my channel okay please i beg you see that red button written subscribe on it if it's here or here i don't care but please just help me click on it and you see that bell button beside it please click on it to always get notification you know so youtube can send you notifications whenever i release a new video all right thank you <laughs> So guys, for today's video, we're going to be talking about what you can't say in a Nigerian home, right? I know when you saw the topic, you're like, uh, what's this about? You know, if you're not based in Nigeria, you may find this video very, very hilarious and you may probably like it because I think you will like it because you find things interesting that goes on in the Nigerian home. But if you are already, if you're already Nigerian, you'll find this video very hilarious and probably offended too because we don't, we always don't like it right we always don't like the situations but we just have to survive because it's our parent right and we love them right and yes before i start i'm gonna say this out oh <sighs> because i know my parents watch my videos too so to our mommies and daddies we really love you we really love that you you take care of us and you do these things as more like tough love Maybe that's not what you actually have in mind that we interpret in our mind, but I don't even know if I'm making sense right now, but we just love you, okay? We love you as our parents, right? So we're going to just jump right into this video. So guys, the first thing you can't say, or the first thing I know that you can't say in a Nigerian home is, guys, you cannot, don't even try it. You cannot tell your parents to shut up. Eh? Did I just hear you say shut up? to your parents as a Nigerian in soup. Like really, if you follow some of these um, Instagram comedians or some of these our um, comedians on Instagram and other social media platforms like Maraji, you, if you watch her videos where you know she really depicts it so much, like what goes on in a Nigerian home. I didn't watch her video, but I just felt like she must have done something like that. I don't know, maybe she has not, maybe she will, I don't know. But guys, you cannot tell your parents to shut up. Who can relate to this? Don't even go there. Don't even try it. If not, you are buying market. You know what it means to buy market? Like, they will literally, if you're an adult or whatever, you you almost get slapped. Like, really. Yes, you will almost get slapped. You can't tell your parents to shut up. No, when watching, when we're watching all this, um, movies that are not Nigerian movies, and then we're hearing them saying, Mom, shut up. Dad, shut up. Shut what? In Nigeria. You can't try it. <laughs> like, so that's one of the things that you can't say in a Nigerian home or you can't tell your Nigerian parents. Okay. Mom, I have a boyfriend. You have a boy what? Guys, <laughs> that's like another thing you can't say to your Nigerian parents. You have what? How old are you? Just 26 and you have a boyfriend. Like, this is so funny. You can't say you have a boyfriend. Don't even try it, though. Don't just try it. Yes, I know uh, um, India abroad, uh, people that are based abroad will find this very, very funny. Like, why can't you tell your parents you have a boyfriend? Or why can't you tell your mom you have a boyfriend? My dear, in Nigeria, we cannot say it, though. No matter how old you are, you cannot... <laughs> You cannot say you have a boyfriend. Like, you have what? I know my friend, or half your girl, will be laughing at this video right now. <laughs> I'm just laughing. Like, guys, these are some of the things that we wish would change, but nah, you can't say, man. If you if it's not marriage, uh, you're just wasting your time, okay? If the guy have not come and say he wants to marry you, or he have not put a ring in your hand, don't say it. Just keep it to yourself till when the guy is coming, okay? <laughs> 
So this is one of the things that um this is another thing that you can't say in a Nigerian home to your Nigerian parents. Yes. So guys, have you had this experience where a visitor is coming to your house and you see your mom running around the kitchen trying to cook the food, trying to put all those ingredients that she will never put when she's cooking normal for the house? That's what goes on in a Nigerian home. It's when visitors are coming that you see um, those, those secret ingredients that they never put when they are cooking for us. They will not start bringing it out. You'll be wondering, oh, this ingredient has been in this house since. Oh, really? Where has it been? Oh, it's been in the cupboard. Oh, my God. Like, for real, why does it happen? Or oh, when visitor is coming, that's when they get to bring all those very fancy plates and spoons and whatever. They just, I don't know whether they make it, whether they buy it just for the visitors. Like, we are we don't have the right to use the plates i know my mom will be laughing right now like we don't <laughs> like we don't have the right to use the plates and spoons it's just for visitors alone why does this happen like nigerian homes are just our homes are, are so funny like really anyways moving on to, and as a younger one you just have to wear all the clothes that we other ones cannot wear you know it now you already <laughs> You already know it, guys, in Nigerian homes, the younger ones get to wear the clothes that the older ones did not like. You know those clothes that probably were, while growing up, your parents bought for you as an elder one and it was so big and you didn't like it or it had one kind of style that you didn't like. The, the younger ones must wear it. I'm the first child in my house and my younger ones, they knew what they faced while growing up. <laughs> It doesn't happen now because we are all grown up, you understand, all of us are in, I'm done with school, the other ones are in university, so we've all outgrown it, but just be rest assured that, oh, if you're, I don't know if young ones watch my videos, if you're a younger one, I know you already experienced this okay, so we're just gonna go to the next one now, and another thing pertaining to elders is in Nigeria, you can't give an adult you can't give something to an adult with your left hand i still i still struggle with that but guys i can't be bothered like really you know if you give some if you give something to an adult with your left hand they will feel like you were not trained well that is literally how they say it yes in nigeria that's how it's said like they'll be like did they did they train you well did your parents raise you well is that not brutal? Like, really? Is that not brutal? But anyway, that was how we were raised. And another thing is, when your mom tells you, probably you went to church, and your mom tells you, please give me five minutes to talk to this woman, or give me five minutes to attend this meeting, all of that. If you're wearing heels, let me just give you information, okay? Maybe you've not experienced it, or you're based abroad, coming back to Nigeria, or something, and you have aunties here, and you're going to go to church with them. If you're wearing heels that day, just kindly take off your heels. If you have slippers in your bag, can bring it out to wear. Pick a chair and sit down. Because that meeting is going to take forever. Like, really? <laughs> oh, God. This is just so funny. Like, it's just what we experience in Nigeria. Like, that's what goes on in a Nigeria home. And we hate it. But we can't do anything about it. Why does this happen? And the funniest thing is that I don't know if it's going to happen to... Like, if, I don't know if as we are complaining about it or as we always complain about it, we're going to do it to our kids. I think I have to have children to know that one. Or maybe ask people that have kids already that have also been complaining about it. Do you pass it on to your kids? <laughs> so moving on to the next one, guys. So guys, this one is really funny. Like, you cannot tell your parents that they are wrong. You say what? Tell your friends that they are wrong. No, it's not happening in a Nigerian home. You can't do that. If you're abroad and you're watching this video, and I know, I just know that you must be laughing right now. Like, really. You can't tell your friends that they are wrong. I don't know if it happens in other African homes, maybe in other African countries, you know. I don't know if it happens, but in Nigeria, no, you cannot. They will remind you how they carried you in the womb for nine months. I mean, your mom right now. I don't know what that story will be. They'll tell you everything, every move you made in the womb. They'll tell you how you sucked, or she'll tell you how you sucked her two breasts and all of that. Like, guys, like, I don't know why it's like that. Like, why can't you tell them that they are wrong without them making a fuss about it? Like, you were wrong. Yes, you were wrong. What you said was wrong. 
<laughs> it's funny now but it's not funny when it's actually happening like they will sit you down and talk your life out they will give you a motivational speech that you've never had before like guys you cannot no 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 don't try it at all <laughs> So guys, there are a lot of things that you can say in a Nigerian home to your Nigerian parents. I know, please, I know I don't really remember everything, but please, which one do you know? Please leave it in the comment section for me. I want to laugh, like, I want to laugh. I don't know, I don't even know what gave me the inspiration to do this video. I just woke up this morning and something happened actually and I just thought about it, like, why? Why can't we do this thing? So I said I was going to talk about it. I know my parents are watching and they're going to be laughing right now, but I don't care. <laughs> so guys this video was really fun i had mad fun shooting this and please just give this video a huge thumbs up okay that means liking it all right and if you're not subscribed please subscribe as usual click on the bell button to get notification whenever i release a new video okay like i said before please leave your thoughts or leave your comments what are those things that happens in your own home that i didn't say most of these things and i noticed that most of these things happen i don't know if i was asking back in school i was asking a friend of mine like do our parents gather somewhere to have meetings to do these things because sometimes when you find something happening in this home you find it happening in the other home like same thing you get and i'm always like did they have a meeting do you understand but anyways that's the fun of it right we all we all love our parents and i love my parents and i know you love your parents but these are the things that they do that we don't like but we just have to keep our mouth sealed right <laughs> so guys thank you for watching this video and i will see you in my next one